to just speak out of Romans chapter 6 today. Uh, it tells you about, do not yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but unto God as those who are alive from the dead. And the other thing that you should read out of the even out of the whole book of Romans, that there should be a change in your character. You know, that you don't want to do those things uh, which you had, had done previously. You don't want to be involved in drunkenness anymore, immorality or greed or uh, drug abuse, you know. But, you know, to yield your members as instruments unto God to be used for his work and not his service. Your eyes to be to behold to, to 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 behold God, you know, to not to be looking at filth, and your your mouth not to be speaking profanity, but to speaking proclaiming the word of God. Their hands to do the work of the Lord, and not involved in profane gestures. You know, in the song it says, you know, little eyes be careful what you see, little ears be careful what you hear, little feet be careful what you walk. That's a children's song, but I think it's for everybody. You know, and I mean, it goes uh, in, into, you know, the Roman, in chapter 12, it begins, at least talked about uh, different things, you know, about morality and about behavior and about the law and about um, the carnal mind. He says, you know, that uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, you know, to... Um, Present your bodies as a living sacrifice, that your body no longer be used for drug abuse or drunkenness or immorality, but to be used for God, you know, and to not be conformed to the world, that, you know, we don't walk, you know, walk with the course of this world. I remember, I think, growing up uh, in the 60s and 70s, and, you know, it was every, it was the space race, and every time we always had to be in front of the television when the men were up on the moon when I was going to go out. I said, aren't you going to stay home? You know, and I think this just says it. You know, I said, well, if I don't uh, watch the moonwalk, will I not be a real person? You know, people will think that you're not real, but you know what? You're more real when you're doing the will of God than you're doing the will of man, Amen. you know? And, uh, you know, even uh, we go into uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, that if any man be a Messiah, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. All things have become new. Amen. You throw off the old behavior, the old ways, the old customs. You know, it's like uh, there's a difference between, you know, living for yourself and living for God, serving God and serving self, you know. All those things are going to pass away. You're not going to desire the, the alcohol, the drugs, or tobacco anymore. You're not going to crave the immorality, but you're going to crave doing the will of God. Amen? Amen. You know, and